There's a helicopter currently doing circles above my house because the LAPD just loves to do that. Hopefully you can't hear it too loudly. Anyway, welcome back to everyone's favorite subreddit about cars that have some modifications that are a little bit questionable on them. Speaking of cars though, actually cool cars, I did a live stream of Forza earlier on in the week. If you feel like checking it out, it's over on the Captain Sparkles 2 channel. I just thought I'd mention it because, you know, cars are here, cars are on that, and Anyway, thanks helicopter, appreciate the guest appearance. Let's start off down here with, uh, which one? I can't believe this past inspection. What actually is that? What did it start off as? It's like someone passed a Polaris slingshot on the road and was like, you know what, that's cool, but I can't buy one of those, so I'm gonna do it to the car that I currently have. I wonder if the soft top is still functional. You know, if they were able to actually keep the soft top functional on that, that's a bit of engineering right there. You know, it's almost awful taste, but great execution, other than the fact that it's missing a little bit of paint, but maybe they're gonna get to that. But it really does look like they just snagged the back off a of Polaris slingshot and attached it to, I'm embarrassed to say I don't actually know what kind of car that is, but yeah, I'm very surprised that you don't get pulled over by police all the time for that. But maybe that's why the LAPD is out there circling overhead. They're like, we see this vehicle is not up to standard. Sorry guys. I like to think they put the dent in just so they could put Hulk Smash on it. <laughs> you know, when life gives you lemons, you gotta make lemonade, that's how the saying goes. Or, when life gives you dents, you, if you can't get them repaired, you just make it look like it was done on purpose. Or something like that, I, I don't know. Dude, speaking of car dents, well, this isn't exactly car dent, but last night, I, oh my god, I saw someone so close to getting hit by a car. It was it was another one, I've talked about the situation in other Reddit videos before. Dude is crossing a crosswalk, I see him crossing the crosswalk, I slow down and stop to let him cross the crosswalk. Car in the right lane, because I was in the left lane, is like, oh, why is this car stopping? Probably no reason, I'll just keep on going. Was like six inches away from just splattering the pedestrian. Woo, didn't happen, fortunately. The dude, like the pedestrian, did freaking back off just in the nick of time. Anyway, just made me think of it because that was caused by a car accident. It would be pretty exciting if it was actually caused by the Hulk, but I don't think it was. Two-wheel drive, question mark. You know, when it comes to a, uh, a motorcycle, I feel like it's actually probably more efficient for it to be one-wheel drive. You know, also, wouldn't that get a little uh, squirrely on turns, going over uneven road surfaces? Because like, unless that's a really flexible thing back there, you're always gonna have one wheel that's coming off the ground, aren't you? And it's just more mass that the engine has to move. So you're actually gonna get less power that way and worse gas mileage. I, I know I, I'm one to talk about gas mileage, but I'm just saying but you do have the death spikes just to ensure that no one gets too close to you. Even though your leg probably sticks out farther than those, so your leg's gonna hit before the death spikes. It's unique, at least. Best sticker ever, dude was released. Now why, why would you ever, ever think that to be a good idea? Like, yeah, this'll look great on my car, just pretend blood spatter. Oh wait, oh it actually looks like blood spatter and Ah, uh, police might think something of it. I wonder if it's a, a clear bra that has that on top of it or if it's actually a million tiny little stickers because if that's a million tiny little stickers, that's gonna suck to have to remove. It's probably just one big clear bra with the, the red on it, but can't say I'm surprised. He's driving an X6, so <laughs> the bad taste started long before the sticker. Hey, <laughs> sorry if anyone out there watching this has an X6. I just have a long-standing thing with the X6. I like other BM BMWs. I like the M4. I like the M5. The new M5 is looking pretty gnarly. It's just the X6, it, it just doesn't know what it wants to be. Sorry if anyone from BMW is watching this. I do like those other cars, so uh, don't discount me. If you ever wanna, you know, talk, we're cool. I just read a book to my nephew when I saw this gem. I thought you might enjoy it. Ridiculous car with a picture of what was it called? The donk, again? It just, whenever I say donk, it just makes me think of the donkey from Trials Fusion. It does look exactly like all those Camaros we tend to see on this subreddit. And um, I'm sure whoever drove that was not even aware of the fact that, that that is a thing 
that people do on a regular basis as part of the dock culture. Um, finally found the home base of this elusive beauty. This actually reminds me a lot of this van when I lived in Santa Barbara growing up at the parking lot for the skate park. It's right on the beach. There's this dude who had this van that just had little figurines glued all over to it. It was basically like this, except a bigger van that had like more room for actually living in because he lived in it. Um, but he like people would take pictures of it. He'd take pictures with the people. I bet there's someone watching this video who knows what I'm talking about too. Who's like, who's seen the van? If one of you has seen the van. You know what I'm talking about. And it's just, it, it's this just on a larger scale with less like paper that's disintegrating on it. I wonder what it says on there. This is what happens if you give a car a tutu, I suppose. But someone probably lives in there, I'm assuming. Home base, it says. So much wrong here. I actually kind of like it. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, it's nothing crazy special. So let's make this thing pretty cool. And they did it. I mean, they really, um, they really hurt the car's ability to take driveways because they extended the splitter out so much. And I assume it's not probably the most stable piece of metal. So you just got to be really careful when you're taking driveways. Take it at a big angle. That's more of an awful taste, but great execution because it looks like you did a good job on it. Not bad. Not bad. How useful can those screens be? Uh, was this perhaps a car that was on Pimp My Ride? It looks, or it's someone who saw Pimp My Ride and was like, "Yeah, we got it. We got to do some of that." Uh, hey, admittedly, back when I was a lot younger, I loved the Pimp My Ride cars. I saw no problems with them. I also didn't even think about the whole, you know, the engine is still the same engine and is completely decaying and rusted. Sometimes they'd swap them out or get a new car, but that was very rare. Usually, it was just like uh, lipstick on a pig kind of deal. But hey, you know what? Yeah, you could be older, you could be of driving age, and still think that, that that was the way to go. Hey, I mean, I go to West Coast Customs for stuff, so it's just that the style of, of how they executed on Pimp My Ride is, you know, it's it's cool. Not, though, if, you, if you're the car owner so much. Also, yeah, I just, I don't, why would you put those, why would you put those screens there? I don't, yo, dog, we heard you like screens, so we put 27 of them in your car so that you can be distracted and get into a fatal accident. Great mod on this one. I hope that this is like a, a dog groomer's car because then it would be just absolutely fantastic marketing. But the fact that there's a scrotum hanging off the back there makes me think they're not trying to market a business because you probably wouldn't do that if you were trying to market a business. And also, how do you even see out the back of your car? I guess you just treat it like a big truck and you only use your side mirrors. Found this on, hmm, thought that it would be good over here. Oh, you haven't visited, hmm, in a while. Is that actually real? And also, I'm inclined to agree with the first comment, which is like, I don't know what exactly is shitty about that. It's kind of cool. But also, I don't know if it's real. Man, what would you, if, if you pass that on the road, that would be wild. I'd be like, I don't care if this thing's going 15 miles an hour on the freeway. I'm going to follow it. Some great vlog content for social media here, which is the most important thing. You know, if you catch something, no matter what, if it's good for social media, you gotta stop and you gotta make a big deal out of it. All right, this is a lesson learned. I know that 60 something percent of everybody out there growing up in schools wants to be a YouTube vlogger when they grow up. That's also not, that's a fact, actually. I'm not even pulling that number out. It's, 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 it's kind of crazy. Um, but that's my life advice. Anything vlog worthy, you gotta stop and you gotta do it. It's gonna make you late to everything. But if you wanna be a pro vlogger, that's what you gotta do. Friends had to look closely to catch this one. Oh, oh God, I was like, huh? Also, did they misspell Michelin? Isn't it two L's? Michelin. No, it's one. Okay, scratch that. No, you don't have to. I I don't know how to spell things. No, but I see. It's a Goodyear. It's a Goodyear tire, but then they put the Michelin. Huh? I don't know why you'd do that. Why not? Like, if you're gonna take the time to actually pay and and get the 
text on there. Why not just get some Michelin tires as well? That's a head scratcher right there. That really is. Can I get an amen? It's Optimus Prime, but downgraded into a van instead of the truck cab. How do you go anywhere with that? We were talking about driveways being an issue with the F1 Volkswagen, whatever car model that was. This thing though, how do you, you can't go into anything. It's just gonna, I bet those parts aren't very well secured either. Like you just take a driveway and that's gonna just bend right off doing anything. Van equivalent of Raichu. Like what do you, oh, I guess they're parked right now. So they have to take up the full trailer spots, but just so much weirdness about this. I don't, I don't get it. This Prius trying to become one with nature or something like that, you know? It's the Prius to be environmentally friendly, but it's not enough to get the gas mileage. You gotta bring nature into the car with a wooden bump. That's gotta be so heavy, actually. Like these things are not meant to be hauling around heavy, heavy loads. And that probably added a lot of weight. Dude, you're, you're killing your gas mileage by doing that, you know? It's like you just decide I'm gonna throw 500 pounds into the trunk of my car and I'm gonna always be driving around with it. That's gonna hurt your gas mileage. And isn't that the most important thing? Isn't that why you brought the nature into your car? I can really envision getting stuck behind this going 10 miles an hour. Sorry, Prius drivers, but my mom has a Prius and it's, it's just, it really is. I'm not one to stereotype, but you're slow. I implore you, break the stereotype, please, please do it. Oh, sorry, it's just my, it's my Prius rant. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. That's, that's wittiness in car form. Wow, I'm surprised Audi doesn't actually do that on like the R8, put eight exhausts with, uh, so four on each side, two Audi logos, eight exhausts. I bet there would be a, a way to do that that actually wouldn't look too tacky. That's, that's clever. I like it, I like it. That's not even, that's not even a shitty car mod. That's a clever, witty car mod. What do, what do other people say? Considering it's an it's satirical. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it's, no, this is great. More stance than a, ig ignoring the potentially demeaning title here. Let's take a look at it. It's, uh, it's got some camber to it. It does look like a balloon animal. If the tires were at least running evenly, and then I could be like, all right, it must be a thing that it's cool. You you like that? Not it's not for everyone, but that's cool. But you're actually just ruining your tires. Just turn. I've never even thought about turning. What does it do? It just. I guess it just. How does the turn even work? Uh, shitty or awesome? You be the judge. I'm actually kind of amazed that that is road legal. I guess it must be just like a regular motorbike, and they're just like, let's plop a sea dew on top of it, and w why not? It's probably just a shell. It probably doesn't weigh that much. My dad used to have a Sea-Doo, actually. It's the only thing I've ever wakeboarded behind. Pretty small wake, couldn't clear it, unfortunately. It's kinda cool, I wonder if it's amphibious. That, now that would be a real trick, is if you can just straight up drive that thing down the boat ramp into the water and, and you're off. It's got like a deployable propeller at the back or jet engine, that would be sick. That's actually probably something someone sells for a lot of money. Oh look, a penny! Is that, is that real? What possible idea could have possessed a person to think that they want to do that? I just want to believe that maybe they're getting work done on the front tires and they need to get them replaced, but they, these are the spares. I want to believe it's that and that they're actually, and that it doesn't look like this all the time, but it's like shaking its booty up in the air. That's, that's what the whole, deal is can you just getting something out of your flatbed you have to like you have to like dive in then go on a hill climb to lug something back out <clears throat> you must not actually utilize the pickup portion of your pickup truck because that's just horribly inconvenient ladies and gentlemen we have we have a winner i guess the guy who submitted this knew that we he really had a winner on his hands because this is the top one of the month what the the ra rape rape vader Huh? What, are, what is on the, what is coming out of the thing? That, what is that? I don't understand. What's coming out of the, the door? The headers? Headers? 
I don't actually know what that is. Also, it's like you just took a big piece of flimsy plastic and like just decided, yeah, I'll put it so it's dragging on the ground. I love loud noises when I'm driving, loud scraping noises. You know when I, man, I just love it when I scrape driveways in my other car. So I'm just gonna make it so I hear that sound all the time. Whenever I'm driving, I want it to sound like I'm scraping a driveway because I just, I cannot get enough of that scraping sound. Also, my doorbell's ringing. Why is my doorbell ringing? Well, anyway, after being rudely interrupted by solicitors right as I'm wrapping up the video, you know, you never think you have to put a no solicitor sign on your own house. Come on. It happens way too often. Anyway, okay, this is a bit of a, a tangent, but I, I think we've um, basically covered it for this month of uh, Shitty Car Mod. So I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. If you want to catch more of these, check the playlist in the description and all that stuff. And subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to listen to the music playing in the background right now, it's linked in the outro over on Marin Music, which has other music as well, if you want to listen to it. All right, I'll see you next time.